I cannot, for the life of me, understand what kind of a business knows that they sell a product that kills children and doesn't care. Erica Thomas's son died last year when he got tangled in his window blind. He was one of four children who died the same way in just three weeks. Consumer reporter Marilyn Moritz now on what's being done to get rid of that danger. Mac Thomas loved to gaze at the stars out his bedroom window. We had rum and shades. It's where his mother found him one morning last year when she went to wake him. And I remember a moment of relief because I saw him lying on the ground underneath his window with his monkey and bear. But two year old Mac was dead, strangled by his window blinds. Not the pull cord. Erica Thomas had been diligent about child proofing. The pull cord was still attached to the ceiling. And I pulled back the blind, and it, it was the inner cord. The cords that run behind and through the blinds. The only way to save lives is to get rid of the accessible cords, period. The Consumer Product Safety Commission is now moving toward mandatory standards banning accessible cords. It's something the industry has long resisted, insisting its voluntary changes have made blinds safer than ever. This is the type of blind that government regulators and the industry say is best for homes with children. As you can see, it is completely cordless. Blinds with inaccessible cords have been available for years. Kay says it's time they're all like that, ending consumer confusion. Thomas agrees. Don't sell products that are going to kill children. Don't carry them. Don't give consumers the option. Two major retailers, Target and Ikea, no longer give shoppers the option. They no longer sell blinds with cords children can reach. I think the retailer stepping in has been a game changer. Kay says other big box stores are also moving toward phasing out dangerous blinds by 2018. Thomas prays that's soon enough. It's like losing my son over and over and over again every single time I hear about another child who has died in this way. Marilyn Moritz, KSAT 12 News. Now, cordless blinds can cost more, so at the very least, safety advocates encourage you to carefully inspect your window blinds and make any cords inaccessible to children. We have more information on our website, ksat.com.